I think AI has officially killed the typical specialist. So let me explain what I mean by that. If you're a specialist, in other words, if you just do one thing well, you now have to be really good at that one thing to do a better job than AI can. And to be clear, I'm talking about white collar work here, but whether it's strategic or creative or technical, AI can now do about as good a job as the average person in any of those fields. So the absolute best work in any of these fields is still being done by humans. And that's why I say this is the death of the typical specialist. There is still room for specialists, but with every model release, there's less and less room. But that doesn't mean that AI is about to replace all white collar work. There's still a lot of things that AI is not even close to doing well. It's just that those things don't require a specialist. We still need humans to take a project from start to finish, maintain context throughout that process, and apply good judgment. And we've now entered a world where any human with good judgment that knows how to use AI can produce work that's on par with what a typical specialist might have done. So unless you have a huge budget and can afford to pay some of the best specialists in the world, it just doesn't make sense to have one person creating the graphics and someone else writing the copy. Splitting up work like that just creates inherent inefficiencies. And until recently, those inefficiencies were just necessary. It didn't make sense to have one person learn how to use Photoshop and Tableau and write JavaScript. And if your team is big enough, I think you probably still do want a few of those specialists. But I think more and more of the work are going to go to generalists. And the most efficient teams are going to be junior level generalists who know how to use AI being overseen by senior level generalists. 